that's what all the pro truckers say. If you don't have, like, if your truck's 50 grand, okay, it's, it's guaranteed it's going to break down probably sooner than later. Uh, so let's say you wanted to get a truck for 50 grand. Well, you take out 100 grand on that. What I would do is I'd take out everything. You know, the, the first full tank. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, oh, I guess my dad and my uncle went to see my other uncle. Uh, the first full tank. The, uh, oh, wow, look out. Oh, I don't want to go over here. Come on. Oh. See, the car doesn't do too bad with the ruts, but uh, it always really ruts really bad right there, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, so you, 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 you take out the 50 grand for the truck. You take out the other 50 grand for the, uh, uh, the other 50 grand for uh, repairs, uh, float, whatever. Uh, enough for a full tank, so that's another two grand or whatever. And then uh, maybe another 50 grand to cover the insurance and all operational costs for one year. So you're at least ahead on that. And then all you gotta do is recoup it, right? Well, you gotta make the payments, obviously. But you gotta recoup it, which is a lot easier than trying to come up with the money, right? Uh, so hopefully by the end of the year, you have enough of a profit to cover your insurance. Uh, the goal would be to cover the insurance in 100 days. Uh, the other goal would be to cover the cost of the truck in a hundred days. And then the last would be just operational cost. And hopefully the last hundred days, uh, 165 days would be just pure profit, you know, and then of course, uh, maintenance and stuff like that. So if you took 300 days of expenses, making expenses and 65 days of pure profit, that would be awesome. Uh, you'd say uh, that doesn't make sense, Reg. It doesn't work like that. Uh, actually, it does. Uh, because when I worked for a company, they would say, okay, well, there's 365 days. There's so much square feet of floor, right? Each tile would be worth, uh, say, $2.50. That's how much the store makes in that, you know, say, 300 square, 300,000 square foot store. Each tile makes... Two dollars and fifty cents uh, per square foot. That, 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 so that's that's what we're max. That's how we're utilizing that's the, the, the store size. Uh, the goal was to bring it up to five bucks. We brought it up to five or six bucks. Then the goal was to make fifteen dollars or so per square foot. Right now you have your budget for the year. So for the first. <sighs> Like the first few years, uh, that store made like say um, out of 365 days was just basically paying for operational costs, you know, employees, uh, keeping the lights on, uh, buying more merch, that kind of stuff. Uh, hydro, well, I already said that, but you know, like all the operational costs. So there was like something like 24 or 25 days of just pure profit. Okay, not bad. The second year, there was something like um, 42 days out of that year was just pure profit. Like there was like all the expenses were covered. And then it got better and better and better as this tiles go up. So when you run something, that's how you look at it. It's like, okay, well, uh, for example, the car. Okay, it cars 400 bucks. Okay, so after a week, the car and the insurance say 800 bucks. After a week, the car pays itself off. After the second week, the insurance typically pays itself off. And let's say I do $2,000 of gas a year, give or take. I don't know what this thing will do, but on my truck, it was probably more like three or four grand a year, right? So it would take probably about three or four months of the truck, for example, uh, before, after that, everything's just gravy. You know what I mean? Where you're just making, you're just making money over money. But the truck was more expensive, so it took, you know, it took like almost a year to zero out the truck, the insurance, and every drop of fuel I put on it. And so I made, on uh, Thunder, I probably made, uh, you know, uh, 10 months or so of, you know, cost, and then two months of pure profit, right? Uh, if, you, if you were to look at it like that. With this car, it's like maybe two months or three months of expense and then nine months of pure profit like every time i take this thing out it makes me money right like it's just like it, it covers its fuel cost all the time now i know that stuff you got you, you tally it up like that at the end of the year not during the year because 
you know, you don't have your whole fuel for the year budget sitting there right away. But yeah, at some point you can, right? At some point you can. And if you do, that's the way to do it. Because let's say you've worked out last year that you burned $6,000 of fuel uh, on your pickup truck and uh, $2,000 on your car. Uh, it's probably ballpark hour, but the guys that are working with the trucks, uh, you know, that, that's probably not that unreasonable if they're doing any distance. A guy like me, they'd probably cut everything probably half because um, I don't do a lot of distance. Okay, so once you start making that profit, you could start putting that money ahead. Like, uh, I, I, I do it with this every time I go. I grab 20 bucks, I put it in here per day worked. Uh, I put 20 bucks here. I don't burn 20 bucks of gas a day. So I get I get a reserve built up, right? So I'm never looking for gas money. I already it's a, it's you know already have it. But my goal is to have the gas money for the year, the repairs for the year, and get ahead like that. So like for a car, you should have at least fifteen hundred dollars just sitting there all the time for repairs. And if you can have five grand sitting there, great. If you have eight grand sitting there, even better. If you have ten grand sitting there, no problem. Once you have enough to upgrade vehicles, you can either a upgrade vehicles or just run the one you have into the ground. Um, you know, and then upgrade vehicles. So the the more you have of that Murphy fund, the better it is. Well, you scale it up, you scale it down. So car, tractor, trailer, it's the same math. It's the same math. And the, uh, the big one for the trucks is the maintenance, right? Uh, pickup trucks are maintenance. Um, and you know, I maintain my stuff. It's just, I buy stuff that's not in great shape, <laughs> you know? So if you bought a cheaper truck just to get through, uh, your probation, okay. And the truck breaks down a little after the probation, that's fine. You, you, by that time, you've probably already zeroed out the truck, but it didn't cost you more, right? Um, and you probably made enough money to do the repairs. So then you do the repairs and then you send the truck out again. And then once that truck makes enough, if you do it right, you could probably buy a truck a week. Not a brand new truck, but uh, or a brand new truck once a year, you know, depending on how you you, you, you do it up, right? But you got to get somebody like, for example, I wouldn't buy a truck without a licensed diesel mechanic uh, guy that's been working on rigs for like 20 years. Okay, tell me whether I should buy this or you know, and if I shouldn't buy this, why? You know, like, well, this is going to cost you this much. This okay, I still. You know, that's still not a bad deal. Let's say you buy the truck for 15 grand, but you got to put 15 grand into it, but you got a brand new freaking truck for 15 grand because the compression's still good. The cams are still good. Uh, there's hardly any blow by, but everything, you know, you need the brakes, you need the tires, you need, you know, all that, all the hydraulics, the compressor, all that stuff. If it needs all that stuff, no problem. As long as you know how much it costs, right? So you could piece that stuff together as long as it lasts long enough. You know, like the goal is, will it last? You know, you pay cheap. Will it last the 300 hours? And in that 300 hours, getting my thing, I'll be getting paid and whatever. So even if the truck completely breaks down and I make all that money back uh, in the 300 hours, maybe I do, maybe I don't, it's still cheaper than trying to get my license by, you know, renting the uh, truck school truck to get for 300 hours, right? That'd be astronomical. But anyway, uh, I'll leave it at that. That's just kind of an, some ideas. I have grandiose ideas. They usually never work out, but uh, you know, it would be a cool, it would be a cool uh, occupation switch and stuff like that. That would be cool. I would have a lot of fun with that. But anyway, there you go.